Hi everyone, I'm Tom and today I'm going to be playing Cosmic Run Regeneration, which is a re-implementation, a more deluxe version of Cosmic Run that I did a playthrough for quite early on in this channel's history. So I'm going to be going over the differences quickly, but I am going to be doing a full playthrough because the first time I did solo, now I'm going to do two player. As always, I'm playing against Little Glass Morty there, who unfortunately you only have a top-down view of, and I would always recommend you turn on the Klingon subtitles because if I've made a mistake, then it will be noted up there. So this is a dice game where every turn you will roll your dice and you need to place at least one on an action space. You are trying to survey planets, you're trying to get to the top of these tracks to survey the planets before they are destroyed by meteors. You can try and recruit some alien species to help you out and they will give you various powers. You can collect sets of them as well and turn them in for points. And you can assign dice to your tech card to earn these crystals. And the more crystals you have, the more power you have to manipulate your dice. So just quickly, what's new? Well, the board is new. Cosmic Run used to have just some separate cardboard pieces for the five planets and victory point tokens instead of a track that's all nicely on here. There is a brand new sixth planet that has its own rules. The first five planets need you to have, well, planet number one wants you to have just ones, and then you want two of a kind, three of a kind, four of a kind, five of a kind. Planet six wants you to have as many different numbers as possible, and however many different numbers you have is how many spaces you'll move up the track you see it's quite a long track compared to all of the others and there is now a special yellow die that you can roll and you move up the sixth planet the number on the yellow die but if you use the yellow die for this purpose your turn is over and you can't place any more the aliens are a bit different. Instead of collecting sets just for the end of the game, you can now turn them in as part of your turn. You can do it once per turn, and you either want two of a kind, three of a kind of the various colors of alien, or you want three different or five different. And, you know, the first person to do two of a kind will get seven points, then five points, then four points. And finally, I think finally, there is, instead of rolling dice to determine which meteors strike the planets, there are now cards to do it instead. So let's get started. The first thing you do on your turn is reveal a meteor card and it has three numbers on it. You start at the top and a meteor strikes that planet. If that planet's already been surveyed or destroyed, you move on to the next one and so on. And if all three are already finished with, then nothing gets uh, damaged this turn. As it is, planet four gets struck by a meteor and each planet can only take three hits by a meteor until it's destroyed. If it's destroyed or we get to the top of it, it's scored. And based on our relative positions, we will score this many points. So at the moment, say for planet number one, Marty would get minus five points. I would get minus 10 points. He gets a little bit of a, a leg up over me because he is second player. So we've revealed that, we've struck meteors. Now we grab all of the dice, except the red one. An alien power gets you that one. And you roll all of the dice. And I have to use at least one. I can use as many as I want, but I have to use at least one on one of the actions that I described. So we can go for some of these aliens here. We can just go for the planets. Crystals, I consider more for, you know, if you haven't got any use for your dice, although it can be really, really useful to build up those crystals, especially if you want to go for the planets that need a lot of the same number later on. So let's look at the aliens. We do have, now the Chronics would let you re-roll up to five dice. The Monashian would let you have an imaginary die with a five on it. And the Grand Turn here would let you adjust one die down one pip. If you recruit their services, you recruit their services by spending dice with the specified numbers on them. As it is, I could put, you don't have to do them in one go. I could just put a five on here and hope to roll a four later. I don't think I want to do that, though. I haven't really got great dice for that. I could put a two on here and hope to get another one later. But I think what I am going to do is use these fives. Now, do I just play it safe and go on planet two? I would move up a step and everything's fine. Or do I push my luck and hope that I will get three fives, four fives, five fives? The downside is you can, you can put them on here incomplete, but if you don't roll more fives, then these are completely wasted. So I think I'm gonna... Now, the only power I have is to reroll two dice. 
Though I think for, for this stage in the game, I'm going to play it safe. I'm going to be boring. So I'm just going to place those fives there. And then I re-roll the remaining dice. And ah, a five. I could have been a bit more daring there. So I have six, three, and five. We could go for the Menashe in there. Now I do have the one on the yellow dice, so I could play that to planet one and move up the track for that. But really, you'd like a high number on the yellow die so that you can zoom up this track. And this track scores a little bit differently. See, in a three or four player game, it scores based on, you know, who got the furthest. So the player who did the most gets 10, then six, then zero, then minus five. Oh, that's a five, isn't it? <laughs> so yeah, normally it scores like that. In a two-player game, it's a nice, a lovely, lovely adjustment because that would be rubbish in a two-player game. You know, I get all this way and you stayed at the beginning and we get 10 and 5 each. That would be rubbish, but no, they've thought of that. Instead, in a two-player game, the person who gets the furthest gets five points plus a point for every space you are ahead of the other player. So if one person is shooting up this track, you need to catch up or they are going to get an enormous amount of points. Anyway, I'm not even going up that track. What do I want to do then? I have to put a dice on something. Now, I could get the, the Gronturn alien with the one there and just give up on that track for now. Uh, or I could play it to planet one. I was on about saving it there, wasn't I, until I got a higher number. But I think it wouldn't hurt to have a dice power for a start and start building up some aliens for points. So I'll re-roll the rest of them. Another one. And then a five and a four. I think I'm just going to spend all of these right now. Five and a four. I think we are going the alien strategy. So that's it. I haven't got any dice left. So now using those dice, we take actions because you don't get the aliens right away. You have to finish playing all of your dice. Then you'll get the benefits of all of your rolls. So planet one, I move up the track just once and it doesn't matter who is there first or second, because you just get points based on your position. And only one person can ever get to the end of the tracks. Here, it does matter, though, who is on top and bottom. So I move up one space there, caught up with Marty. I played a pair onto planet two, so I move up one space here as well. Nothing on any of the other planets. Then for the aliens, the Gronturn is coming over, and he's going to help me out later. And so is the Menashian. And you can have up to five aliens at once, by the way. Okay, that is the end of my turn. So it's on to Marty. He reveals a meteor card. And the first four are always going to be different numbers. They are set up in such a way so that there are starting cards. Four of the six starting cards are at the top. Although, quick note, the starting cards are actually red. I set them aside, like in setup, and then just left them aside. So they are shuffled in now. But yeah, luckily the cards were different i think two are just randomly mixed in with the rest so you don't just get planet four destroyed right away which doesn't matter so much in a competitive game but if you're playing the solo or cooperative game then it uh, it can really be a blow to have a planet destroyed so quickly anyway on with the meteors planet six gets hit and you can use this as kind of you know if if a planet that you are really far down on compared to the other player is about to get destroyed. You really, really want to go for that planet. Have we got all of the dice here? I think so. So what's Marty going to do? So he's got a five on the yellow dice. Trouble is, if he played it there, that would be the end of his dice. So he'd have to play them all right now. Oh, he, did, he needs some more aliens though, doesn't he? Let's not get ahead of ourselves. So we've got another Chronix there that only lets you roll three dice and another Menashian that would let you add a one, an imaginary one. So has he got dice for those? No, he's got none of the dice needed for those aliens. So let's disregard them for now. What has he got? He's got a pair of threes and a pair of fours. He could compete with me for planet two there, or he could be a bit more daring. Let's see, he's got two crystals, so he could re-roll. He could spend one crystal to re-roll two dice. He could spend both of these crystals to re-roll up to five dice. But yeah, it's a bit early to be doing that. He needs to push his luck a bit. Oh, he's got a pair of fives as well, hasn't he? He could just end his turn right now. Or he could, you know, play a pair to two, a pair to two, get a crystal with this five, because any number just gets you one crystal, and then play the five to planet six and move up five spaces. Yeah, that seems tempting. Just a really quick turn. Yeah, we'll just play them all at once there. 
And so he's getting a crystal here for the dice that's there. He's moving up two steps on planet two because he's played two pairs. So right now, if uh, this planet was destroyed, Marty would get two points. I would lose two points. And that's why we start off with 10, by the way, because you can lose points. Then on planet six, he is moving up five spaces and <laughs> the dice tray means I can't see where he is. <laughs> We're just going to have to imagine. I'll lean over. There we go. Now these, by the way, are info dare tokens. Uh, cert certain spaces are marked as having one of these tokens on them. If you land precisely on that space, then you can take the token and it's worth one, two or three points. There are some alien cards that will get you some as well. That's why there's some extras over here. Okay, then that was a nice quick turn for Marty. So planet five is getting struck once. And let's see what we can roll. So we do have some extra help this round. And what have I got? I've got three twos. And I could even adjust this three to be a two and get on planet four. That's quite attractive. And push my luck even further, maybe. I hope to you know, put them on planet five and hope to... Get something even better. I could spend my crystal to reroll these two and see if I get another two. Yeah, let's do that. I'm gonna spend my only crystal. Although I've got a six on the I've got a six on the yellow. No, we're gonna see if we can go on planet five. We've got to go big, haven't we? So I'm gonna reroll these two using my crystal power. Hmm, no. That didn't help. Okay, then. And there are better powers if you can build up your crystals. So three would let you adjust a die up or down one pip. Four would let you set a die to anything. And five would give you an extra die. So I think we're going to use the Grand Turn. So he gets flipped face down. He stays here because, you know, I can, uh, I can turn him in for points. So I'm going to adjust a die down one pip. And I'm going to just... I'm not going to risk it. I'm going to place these four on planet four. So I'm definitely going to move up a step there, going from minus four to plus four points. And these, I don't want to place them anywhere, so I'm going to re-roll them. I've got a three and a two. I could place the two on here, because using the yellow dice, by the way, just to be clear about it, it only ends your turn if you use it on the sixth planet. Using it for any other purpose, you're fine. So I could just... Pop a two on there and hope that I roll another one next time, but I've got nothing to ensure that happens. My only other option really though is to just put my three on my tech card to get a crystal and then re-roll this and hope for a high number. I think that's what we're going to go for. So re-roll that. That's a three again. Yep, unfortunately we will we'll use it to try and catch up with Marty a little bit. So I'm going to move three. Then we move one space up planet four and I get my crystal back. And that's it. Okay, Marty's turn. And that is a miss. There are three miss cards shuffled in in a two player game. So nothing gets hit right now. So we can relax a little bit and let's see what he gets. So he's got a pair of ones, a pair of twos. <laughs> Keep racing up uh, planet two, a three and a five. So let's see. I think he's going to he's going to play his twos to planet two and hope to roll something better. Oh wow, he's got four threes. He he can't pass that opportunity up, can he? He's going to catch up with me on planet four. Nice lucky roll there. So Marty and even better on planet two. I I planned this honestly. Uh, even better. He gets an info dare token as well. And let's keep it secret what he's got. I'm not even going to know. So, yeah, he moves up that planet. He moves up planet four. You obviously can look at your own token. Uh, so, yeah, that's all he did, isn't it? Nice turn, though. That's uh, he's gone from two to four points, and he's got at least one extra point there. And he's gone from minus four to four points. Didn't have to use any crystals, any cards, anything. So my turn. Oh, before we get excited. Meteor card. Planet 5 gets hit again. So 
it's not, uh, oh, we just flip over this token and now it shows two meteors. So it's not so bad while Marty hasn't moved. We would both lose two points. But if I can move up that planet, I would basically earn 10 points going from minus two to eight points. It's five of a kind, though, with not many powers. If I can roll some fives and add this imaginary one, that would be perfect. Come on, fives. I got one. So, what shall we do? We can spend maybe the ones on planet two to catch up. So I want Marty to get all of the glory. On the other hand, though, we could spend both of them on planet one that just wants ones. So I could move two spaces up here. With the other dice, let's see, I could use the ones to get the Monashian and the imaginary one and build up a set of Monashians to trade in for a load of points. I like that idea more. I'm going to do that. Do I want to do anything with these? I could maybe build up to get the Chronics if I get another two. No, I'm going to, I'm going to just re-roll all of these though. So what have we got? I've got a pair of fours there. Hmm. Not too excited. I've got a six. I think I'm going to, I'm going to really go for aliens, I think. And then let's re-roll these. And what have I got? One, three, five. What I'm going to do, I would shoot straight past this token. One, two, three, four, five. The next one. I'm going to play my one here. I'm going to play my three here because you just want different numbers. I could play the one there as well, but I'm going to try and spread myself out a little bit. And I'm going to put my five on there as well to move five spaces. So let's evaluate it. I move up one on planet one. I move up one space for the white die and five spaces for the yellow die. One, two, three, four, five. Then I recruit two more aliens. And it's just something you can do on your turn. Once per turn, you can trade in aliens for points. So I could do that right now, but really you want to use them and then trade them in. So two new cards come out. What have we got? More Chronix re-rolling and the Grand turn adjusting. And it's Marty's turn. So planet two gets hit for the first time. And what can he come up with? Is he just going to roll four of a kind again? No, he isn't. So he's got, got a pair of sixes, pair of ones. Keep going for pairs and just uh, finish that planet off. Because I'm still losing two points right now. If you can get another pair with these dice as well, that would be perfect, wouldn't it? Yeah, he's going to go for that. And let's see what he can get. So he's got just a two and a four. They're useful for anything here. He could build them up for a pair. He could put them on planet six and try and catch up. I think he's going to go for, he's going to put one die on here. And then if he rolls that number again, he's got another pair. Brilliant. If he doesn't roll another pair, he's just going to put it on planet six, move up one space and get another Infidare token. So what's he going to go for? Two or four? I think... Four's more likely. <laughs> Not really, is it? What does he roll? He rolls a one, so it wouldn't have mattered either way. He could move up planet one, but he's going to move up planet six, get a little bit closer to me, and grab this token. And yeah, secret still. So he wastes his four, and he moves up two more spaces on here. Okay, then, my turn. Planet two is getting hit again. Oh, so either way, this is finishing really soon. I could really do with a lot of pairs. And with these imaginary dice, I could potentially get some. But do I just work on these planets that are worth far more points? What have we got? I've got a pair of fives. Pair of ones. I think I'm going to use... I want to use my Monashians to get three of a kind on the fives and the ones. Maybe give up here, take the two-point hit, and get on a planet that's worth more points. But what if... <laughs> we just go crazy on using cards. We use the Chronics to re-roll these two here, and maybe we could even get four of a kind on one of them. Yeah, let's re-roll these two, even though I can re-roll up to three with that card. And what have we got? We've got the five. So that's good. Yeah, let's, let's do it. So we're going to spend 
the five here to make four of a kind on there. Because that just gives you an imaginary five dice. And we just go for three of a kind on the ones. Seven points, basically, from minus six to one. Yeah, we're going to go on planet three with those and spend the imaginary dice. And really, if I want to be recruiting more aliens in future, I could recruit the Grunton with the three as well. But then my trouble is, I can't really get three of a kind because I would have five cards then. I could give in, you know, three different ones. But yeah, I'm going to get the Grunton. So we move up here. So from minus six to one point and from four to nine and, oh, an Infidair token. <laughs> from my perspective, I couldn't see that. So let's look at mine. That's just one. Yeah. It's a shame. So they come back and I get my fifth alien. You're only allowed five. So I'm going to have to do something about that. Yeah, I'm going to retire some aliens. So two of a kind here. I'm going to retire them and in seven points. So I'm on 17 now. And we put a check mark here to show that that's done. And the next person to turn in two of a kind is only going to get five points. And now I've got some space to recruit some new aliens as well. So Marty's turn. Card, planet five, is getting destroyed. So neither of us managed to move up it. And there isn't really a way, you know, you used to flip over the planets in the original Cosmic Run. The way that you show that it's destroyed here is to just move up to the top of it. So we both didn't move up this at all. We didn't get that much chance to. But uh, yeah, we both lose two points there. And so, Marty can start. What's he got? Pair of ones, pair of twos. I think, oh, pair of fives as well. He could. Does he want to just ignore aliens completely and see if that works out for him? He could spend... He could spend the fives. Because he only needs one more pair to get up to the top of that. And then he could spend the twos on those aliens and see what he rolls with those. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, yeah. He's five spaces away from there. So he would like a four and something else. Or maybe just a five on the yellow for planet six to get another token. So that's a four and another dice. Because it's only the white dice that need to be different. I believe on planet six. You know, subtitle will come up if I'm wrong about that. So... The four on there, and even though it's not different, the yellow die is separate to it. So, planet two. He moves up, and we score a planet. It's the exact same thing as happened when the planet got destroyed. Based on our positions right now, Marty gets 15 for discovering the planet, for surveying it. So, it's on 23. Took a lot longer to work out than I thought it would. And uh, minus two for me. And we move to the top of that to show that... It is surveyed. Although, yeah, it's similar looking to when it's destroyed, isn't it? Uh, so, Marty as well moves one space for the white die and one, two, three, four spaces for the yellow die. And he gets another secret Infidair token there. And then he's getting his very first alien. And he's going to get to reroll some dice with that. New one comes out and it's a new kind. They are the Infidare, and they basically just get you an Infidare token. Okay, then, my turn. Planet 4 is getting hit. So that's the second time. And dice rolling time, isn't it? So what do we get here? I want that Grunt turn, really, don't I? Get another kind. That would be my third. And then once they're used, that would be 12 points to hand them in. I can, you can retire them before you've used them. It's just, you know... You want the power, don't you? So what have I got? It's got pair, pairs don't matter anymore. You can't put pairs down. Get nothing for a pair. And... I, I could use my grunt turn here to adjust, say, the one to a two. Or maybe one of the twos to a three and go on planet three. But I think I want to see what else I can roll. I'm going to spend my one to get the Infidair alien. And then I'm just going to re-roll everything else and see what I can get. We've got a six on yellow. That would be really nice to spend on here. One, two, three, four, five, six. 
if I spent any if I spent any white dice as well, we could get to the next token and be in front. But then what are we going to do with the other dice? Let's see, the pair of threes could get me another alien. Although it's not the Grunton I want for the three of a kind. Yeah, may maybe I should have spent that before. But I think... We could adjust this so that it is the right number for the grunt turn. Yeah, let's do that. Let's just adjust the three to a four. So we can do that. Oh, but then I'm, I'm spending two dice. So I don't know if this is worth it now. I'm regretting my decision. I'm putting those on planet six, which means that these are just going on my tech card for crystals. But that's not a, that's not a terrible position to be in, is it? So I move one space for the white die, six spaces for the yellow die, and I get myself two points this time. And I'm ahead now. And I get myself aliens. I'm full up on aliens again. What have we got? Manashian and another Grunton, but three is the most that you can have. So as soon as you get the Infidare alien, you get yourself a token from the spare ones, and that's three points now. Nice. So he's just used, basically. And I think that's it. Oh, and I get myself two crystals, don't I? So now I could spend all of them to adjust a die up or down one pip. Marty, he is going to miss. Well, the meteors are going to miss. And he rolls. What's he got? Three fives and a couple of sixes. He could just go for, where would this get him? One, two, three, four, five, six, and then two dice would get him on an Infidare token. Yeah, he's going to just put three of a kind on here and move up that planet. And then he's going to put two different white dice, which is two steps, and then a yellow dice with a six on. One, two, three, four, five, six. Perfect. Works out nicely there. And he moves up one step on here and catches up with me. Once he's having much quicker turns, isn't he? So I draw a six. So planet six gets hit for the second time. And what can I roll? All different, which is not bad. It's okay for planet six, isn't it? I can't get any aliens at the moment. I probably want to use my grunt turn if I can. And then hand all three in this time for 12 points. What have we got other than that? We could just put ones on planet one. But then we are reducing the number of dice we've got for, you know, building up sets. We could just put one on planet six to move up a space. Or we could adjust this to a two, have a pair of twos, grab this alien and retire these so we would have space. Yeah, I like that idea. We're going to use the grand turn, adjust this to a two. And spend the twos up there. And now this can happen any time on your turn as well. And so that's three of a kind. I get myself 12 points and check that off. So I'm on 25. And oh, I'm still going, aren't I? I thought that was the end. Uh, so I've got some fours and some ones. Pairs are no good, though. I have no... Oh, just knocked that. I have no card abilities. I do have... Reroll some dice. Fours and ones are no good. Well, ones can go on here. But then having two fours left, just having two dice left and re-rolling them, I could, yeah, I could move up there. One, two, three, four, and an extra one wouldn't quite get me to a token. It would put me ahead in case that gets destroyed at the start of Marty's turn. I think, though, I'm going to put the ones on here, and then I'm going to re-roll these and let's hope for a five, maybe. Or even a six. Brilliant. Five and a uh, white, so let's go up here. Two spaces on planet one. Then I move up one for the white dice and five for the yellow dice. Three, four, five. Get myself two points. And then finally, we've got a Manashian recruited who's going to let me add an imaginary two. And I could turn in these as a set of three different cards. Marty. 
Let's see what he gets meteor-wise. Planet 6. So good move by me. It's not going to be a huge amount of points, but it's something, isn't it? I'm two steps ahead of Marty, so I get two points and five points on top. And we just go up here now. And we put mine underneath to show that I got there first, even though we didn't get to the end, because this is a tie break. I got further along in there. And now it's Marty's turn then. So he's got he's got three twos right off the bat there. He could try a reroll to get some more. But the most you can get is four of a kind. And maybe he could get three of a kind again. Yeah, he's just going to pop those out. And yeah, the, the yellow die now doesn't have its special use because Planet 6 is done with. Okay, so what does he get? A one, three, and a six. That's rubbish. He could re-roll them. He's got crystals as well to adjust them. He's going to re-roll all of them. Although he could put the one on Planet 1, but then where do these go to get an alien at the most? Yeah, he's going to put one on Planet 1. Reroll these. What's he got? More ones. Okay, they all go on there. So he goes three spaces up here. He's caught up with me. He goes one space up here, and that's earned him four points. And that's it, isn't it? That's everything he's done. So my turn. Meteor card again. Planet three. This is the first time that Planet hit three has actually been hit. And then my turn. Okay, so we've got three of a kind on twos. I am ahead on Planet 4, so I don't have to worry as much. I can add a 2. Brilliant. Yeah, let's add a 2, and we're on Planet 4. Boom. And do I want to hand in three different aliens? Maybe I'm not even going to get any more. Yeah, I do. I'm going to retire three different aliens and get myself eight points. Now, I've got a 1. But I probably want to reroll these and see if I can get three of a kind. I do get my reroll now. Got fives. Now I have three crystals, so I can just reroll and try and get a five. It only costs one crystal though, and I can do it three times. Let's go for it. This seems wasteful. Three. Five. There we go. So it cost me two crystals, but we have moved up on here and here. Brilliant. Okay, Marty's turn. And one comes out. So one gets hit for the first time. And what does he roll? Did he use this? I can't remember. So he's got, he's got a couple of ones, a couple of twos, a three and a four. And he's got some manipulation here. He can increase one. Maybe to get on the three of a kind. I think, though, two spaces would get him an Infidare token. He's going to put the ones on there and see what else he can roll. He's got 2345. Would be brilliant if Planet 6 was still about. But that's not too good on its own, is it? I think he's going to keep the three. And he's going to use his card to re-roll. So... Yeah, just hoping that he'll get a pair of threes. Because then he could get another alien and it would be the same kind and worth some points. Maybe. Oh, wow. All different again. He could do another one, and then just really cross his fingers that these come out as three of a kind. No. That's really close as well. Three, three, two. So he could either just spend them and get the alien, or, and I think he's going to do this. Now, he could just risk it, spend a crystal at a time and re-roll, but he's still not even guaranteed for it to happen. He's going to spend all three crystals to adjust it by one pip, make it a three, and he can go on planet three with those. So he moves up... Th oh, no! Playing the one to there was a stupid idea. Well, it's not terrible, but he's skipped the infidare token now. One, two, three. And he moves up one space on here and does get an infidare token, so he, he still gets one. And it's my turn, isn't it? Meteor card, three. That gets hit for the second time. And, oh, let's roll these dice. Oh, wow. Well, yeah, let's say it's a six. So we've got two sixes. You recruit that grunter, and that lets you adjust two dice minus one pip. I have threes. I don't really have much manipulation here, do I? 
do we just go for a number and hope we get four of a kind? That would be 24 points and Marty would only get four. And then if Planet 3 gets destroyed, then he's not going to get more, much more of an advantage and there's not as much of a point difference on Planet 1. Or do we go for some aliens? You know, I could choose the threes on here, the four on here. You've got five different aliens. I don't think there's time, but if they can get five different aliens, that's 15 points. What are we going to go for? We are going to go for threes. Let's go big. Come on, threes. One more three. That's all I need. Come on. Well, it's not all I need. It's all I need to keep going. There we go. Brilliant. It's lucky there. So now, let's keep the one on there. And we either roll a one with this and go up again, or we put it on the tech card. Oh, that looked like it was going to be a one. So we move one space up there. We move one space up here and score the planet. So I'm going to get 24 points. One, two, three, four, so 66. I'm on at the moment. And Marty gets four. Yeah. I think completely ignoring aliens might not have been the best thing to do. Oh, and I get a crystal for on here. Marty's turn. Planet one gets struck for the second time. If he can get a one, though, he's scored this, and that's 12 points to my three. Let's see what he can do. He's got no powers at all. And all that's left... Oh, we need to stack these up here, don't we, to show that that one's finished. All that's left is three of a kind. I think he's going to bank on... He hasn't even got any threes to try and get these aliens. He could just spend a four and get another alien. Then that's a... That's, it's something towards three different aliens, isn't it? Yeah, I'm grasping at straws, really, to recover Marty's situation. What's he got now? Fives, three fives? Yeah, that's something, isn't it? And, yeah, fours he can't get anything with. Threes, he can get an alien, though. Second of the same type, he's going to do that. So he goes up here again. So at the moment, if that got destroyed with this next card... 12 points to 5. Ah, I was trying to make that sound good, but it's not much, is it, in this position. Uh, so, Marty gets himself some aliens. He's giving in now. <laughs> I'm breaking his strategy. I thought, okay, well, let's, let's have him just completely ignore them. But yeah, he needed to like race ahead on Planet 6 or something like that. But he's got all of these. Let's not count him out right now. These could all be threes. Uh, and he's already moved up there, hasn't he? So, my turn... Planet 1 gets hit and destroyed. So that is 8 points to 3. Okay, that's how we're looking now. And so all you can do, planet-wise, is 3 of a kind. Or recruit some aliens and things. But Planet 3 could get destroyed at the start of Marty's next turn. Oh, 6s. Brilliant. That's a nice little start for me. It's too late for 1s, unfortunately. I could grab an alien in the hopes that I get... What, three different ones? And to stop Marty getting three of a kind and getting some more points, maybe? But then I can't move up the three of a kind by doing that. So yeah, let's not place that and re-roll these three and really cross our fingers that <laughs> we're going to get three of a kind. No, not even close. What should we go for? I could just spend the five on an alien and hope we get another turn. We might not, though. I think we are going to... What number's going to work out well for us? Two. I don't feel like two's come out very much. And I think it's time for two to shine. Can this work again? No. So we're going to spend a crystal. We can re-roll up to two dice. All we need is a two. Oh, come on. Well, these numbers are useless, so we might as well spend another crystal. Come on, two. Oh, no. Is that the same every time? Uh, three and a four are useless, so we will just have to spend one on a tech card and hope that we get a five, so we can at least get an alien. There we go. Do we want to re-roll, or do we want to turn a five into anything? I think we want to take this one, as I mentioned before, to stop Marty being able to get three of a kind. And I get a crystal, and I move up here once. So at least I've closed that gap in points. And Marty 
draws and planet two's already gone planet three goes now so that is 12 points to eight and so unfortunately marty doesn't get to have his turn because the last planet was destroyed he does though get to we each get to score one more set of aliens and so the only set that marty can score is uh, is here the the chronics so two of a kind that's going to get him five points and so at the end of the game you get a point for each crystal so that's one for me a point for each alien card remaining you can't score any sets right now and then your infodare tokens so i got five seven eight and marty it's the moment of truth they've got to all be threes and i don't think that's going to catch him up even so what does he got two four five eight nine he catches up by one so the final scores are 87 to 61. marty's strategy did not work out very well but yeah that's letting me have first place on all of these uh hand-ins yeah he really he needed to do some aliens maybe or really concentrate on some of the better planets like if while I'm messing about getting aliens, he is racing up here and getting a massive lead. That's a huge number of points he could have gotten on Planet 6. But hey, that's just an example game of Cosmic Run Regeneration. If you would like to see maybe the original version or see how it plays solo, because it's it's still a similar concept to how the solo game works. It's just that now you've got the extra planet and all of that stuff. Uh, you can watch my original playthrough or see what things were like when the channel was very, very young. Uh, if you'd like to know what I think of Cosmic Run and Regeneration, then there'll be a picture of my face somewhere over here. But thank you very much for watching this playthrough. Yeah, do all of the YouTube-y, likey, subscribe -y things. They do really help me out. And, you know, there's hundreds of playthroughs on this channel. You'll probably find more you'll like. Thanks for watching this far, though, and I'll see you for the next game. Bye.